All right, what's up, ReFam? In this video, I got a tip to share with you guys I think you might like. I thought the HANA phosphate checker failed me, but wait till you listen to this tip. <laughs> So here we are at the fish water testing and coral fragging table that I have that I use. And yeah, let's go ahead and start this video and talk about this phosphate uh, tester by Hannah. And I thought this thing failed me. I'm going to show you a clip right now. Here we go. What's the number? What? All right. So as you saw in the clip, it said I had zero phosphates. It said I didn't have anything in here. And I was freaking out and I reached out to one of my reefing buddies. Y'all might know him here on YouTube. I'm going to put a link to his channel at the top and at the end of this video right now. So that's the link to his video. Uh, Murphy's Aquatics. So Murphy um, went ahead and he told me, when's the last time you checked the battery in that thing? And I said, hmm, well, I've had it for about a year and I hadn't changed or replaced the battery so i said well pat that's a good question you got there let me pop a new battery and test again so come to find out i took the battery out that guy put it in the phosphate checker and start it back up and it said i had 0 0.08 phosphates and as you can see i used the same water and the same, um, well, the same test solution and the same uh, control, and I did the test over with the new battery, and it tested a different value than before. So I thought this was a good tip to share with you guys that um, when your Hannah Checker's battery starts to go bad, it can produce some um incorrect values so what i'm gonna do from here on out is i'm gonna put a piece of tape on here with the date i put the battery on and i'm gonna do that tonight and um that way when i look at the bottom of the checker i'm gonna know hey that battery's been in there for that long i should probably go ahead and change it and i'm thinking about maybe every three months replacing the battery or maybe every six i haven't decided yet but I think um, putting a piece of tape with the date of when you put the battery in here is key. And I thought sharing this tip with you guys was, it was a good one. So I hope some of y'all might've learned something from this tip and be sure to stick around for more videos like this. I got another tip up my sleeve I wanna share with you guys. And um, thanks for watching and have a great night. All right, thanks for watching. If you're new to this channel, I would like to say thank you and welcome to my channel. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit my logo on the left side and subscribe. Also turn on that post notification bell for future videos. I also put two videos you might also enjoy here on the right side. And don't forget to give me that thumbs up and add a comment. I really enjoy you guys' comments. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.